Step into the world of classic TV with WKRP in Cincinnati. This sitcom from 1978 takes you behind the scenes of a struggling radio station in Ohio. No need for fancy words here, it's just good old-fashioned laughs, surprises, and touching moments. Ever thought about the hidden stories behind the show? Well, get ready because there's a roller coaster of funny, surprising, and even sad facts coming your way. So, why should you keep watching? Because you're in for an exciting journey, that's why. Now, let me ask you, do you have a special memory tied to this series? Maybe a moment that still makes you smile or a scene that stands out. Or perhaps there are some little known facts that interest you about it. We want to hear all about it. And here's the deal, we're not just here to spill the beans. We want to know your stories too. What's your fondest memory or personal experience related to WKRP in Cincinnati? Share them below and let's reminisce together. So, if you're ready for a trip down memory lane or eager to discover some TV trivia, hit that play button and share your thoughts. WKRP in Cincinnati where laughter and nostalgia collide. In 1978, a TV show set in Cincinnati shook up comedy on television. Imagine a city buzzing with life, where a struggling radio station becomes the center of attention. As the show begins, you're drawn into the world of WKRP. It's a show filled with humor and drama, following the adventures of the quirky staff at the radio station. WKRP wasn't just a show, it became a part of culture. The characters felt like friends, dealing with issues of the late 70s in a relatable way. The show didn't just make people laugh, it also tackled serious topics with cleverness. It gave a voice to important issues like equality and changes in music. In TV history, WKRP stands out. Its entertainment value and cultural impact are still felt today. As you dive into the world of WKRP, you're in for a journey that leaves a lasting impression. George Gaines, known for his role in the TV series, had a great-grandchild named Portia, born in 2012. His father, Jarrett Jonjagens, was a Dutch businessman, and his mother, Ea Grigorievna de Gay, also known as Lady E. Abdi, had mostly Russian ancestry, with smaller traces of Polish and French roots. Tim Reed, another key figure from the series, co-authored the book Tim and Tom, an American comedy in black and white with Tom Dreesen in 2008. These details offer a glimpse into the personal lives of George Gaines and Tim Reed, shedding light on their family backgrounds and personal achievements outside of their roles in the television series. Vincent Schiavelli, known for his role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, also appeared as the organ grinder in Batman Returns. Hugh Wilson, the show's creator, chose the call letters WKRP as they were not in use by any station. He wanted WSOS or WHLP, but they were taken. A radio station in Georgia applied for WKRP's call letters during the show's run. Legal action was considered, but the FCC granted the call sign to the applicant. In 2014, a nonprofit organization got the call sign WKRP for a new FM radio station in Raleigh, NC, expected to air in 2015 on 1019 FM. Max Wright, who played a role in the series, was nominated for a Tony Award for his performance in Ivanov. WKRP in Cincinnati, a TV series from 1978, featured Sylvia Sidney, who had a memorable start in Through Different Eyes. The film's impact led her to cancel her Fox contract, startled by her own performance. Throughout WKRP in Cincinnati, real-life radio DJs adorned bulletin boards with bumper stickers from stations nationwide. These stickers, sent by dedicated fans, added authenticity to scenes, showcasing the show's popularity among industry insiders. George Gaines, a key figure in WKRP in Cincinnati, maintained a low profile, seldom granting interviews. Despite his pivotal role, he remained reserved, adding an air of mystery to his persona. Vincent Schiavelli, known for his roles in various productions, appeared alongside Pierce Brosnan in unrelated works. Notably, they collaborated in the TV series Remington Steel and the film Tomorrow Never Dies. Schiavelli also worked with director Tim Burton in Batman Returns, while Brosnan starred in Mars Attacks, Sky Valley's character, Peter Panama on the corner bar, marked the first sustained gay character on American network television. In his high school years, he excelled in drama and was a member of the National Honor Society. His contributions to entertainment remain notable. WKRP in Cincinnati, a TV series from 1978, had its final first run episode air on CBS, ranking seven in the weekly Nielsen ratings for all series, specials, and sports events. Despite this, the series had already faced cancellation prior to this episode. Daphne Reed, known for her role in the series, along with her husband, Tim Reed, relocated to Virginia where they established Millennium Studios, the state's first production studio. Frank Bonner, another notable figure from the series, was cremated upon his death, 
with his ashes returned to his surviving wife. In the late 1970s, a TV show brought laughs and fun to people all over the country. One character, Venus Flytrap, was really memorable and even inspired a character on Saturday Night Live called Leon Phelps. After working together on Punky Brewster in 1984, actor George Gaines and Solo Moon Fry went their separate ways. Frank Bonner, who played Herb Tarlek, had a special connection to the show. The coffee mug on his desk with the University of Arkansas Razorbacks logo was a nod to Bonner's Arkansas background. These little facts show how WKRP in Cincinnati and its actors influence pop culture both on and off the screen. In the movie Police Academy to their first assignment, Howard Hesseman, famous for his role in WKRP in Cincinnati, portrayed the younger brother of Eric Lassard, played by George Gaines. Despite a significant age gap of 23 years between them in reality, their on-screen collaboration added an interesting dynamic to the film. Vincent Schiavelli, another figure associated with the show, directed a theater piece in Sicily based on nine traditional fables. The production showcased authenticity with six Sicilian actors and the use of the local dialect. After the play, Schiavelli, along with the cast, experienced a brief storm of wildflowers from the appreciative audience, highlighting the positive reception of the performance. George Gaines, a key actor in the series, had an interesting connection in his personal life. His second wife, Aline Ann McClory, was born in Canada, providing a glimpse into the actor's diverse relationships beyond the world of WKRP in Cincinnati. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the lives of the individuals associated with the show, adding a layer of depth to its legacy. Each actor's unique experiences and connections contribute to the diverse nature of the entertainment industry. Frank Bonner, one of the regular cast members of the show, passed away on June 17, 2021, marking the second loss since Gordon Jump in 23. Woodrow Parfrey, known for his roles in the series, fought at the Battle of the Bulge during World War II. His experiences during the war influenced the portrayal of tough and eccentric characters in his roles. Notably, Gordon Jump and Howard Hesman, key figures in the series, made guest appearances on Soap while concurrently starring in WKRP. These instances highlight the unique and varied experiences of the cast members both on and off the screen. WKRP in Cincinnati, a TV series from 1978, featured actors with diverse backgrounds. Sylvia Sidney, who appeared in the series, had a notable personal history. She was once married to Bennett Cerf, the president of Random House Publishing. Their marriage, which began in 1935, lasted only eight months before they divorced. Cerf humorously remarked about their short-lived union, suggesting caution in formalizing passionate relationships. Michael Pataki, another contributor to the series, directed the horror film Mansion of the Doomed in 1976 and acted in Dracula's Dog the following year. Additionally, the Flim Building, a location featured in WKRP in Cincinnati, stands at 615 Vine St. in downtown Cincinnati, close to Fountain Square. In 2015, it housed the Homewood Sudeshampton Inn. These elements add depth and context to the series setting and cast, enriching the viewer's experience with historical connections and real-world settings. George Gaines, recognized for his role in the TV show WKRP in Cincinnati, crossed paths with actress and dancer Aline Ann McLeary in New York City during their Broadway performances in 1952. The popular show, airing in 1978, depicted a fictional radio station. According to its spin-off, the new WKRP in Cincinnati, the station began broadcasting on December 7, 1941, coinciding with the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Another WKRP in Cincinnati actress, Carol Bruce, made her film debut in 1941 and returned to films in 1980 after a break. In her third film, Behind the Eight Ball, she introduced a jazz standard. George Gaines, Aline Ann McLeary, and Carol Bruce all played significant roles in the entertainment industry during their careers. The show WKRP in Cincinnati, known for its portrayal of a fictional radio station, gained popularity in 1978. In the spinoff, the new WKRP in Cincinnati, it was mentioned that the station went on air on December 7, 1941, coinciding with the attack on Pearl Harbor. Actress Carol Bruce, who made her film debut in 1941, returned to films in 1980 after a hiatus. In her third film, Behind the Eight Ball, she introduced a jazz standard. The meeting between George Gaines and Aline Ann McLeary in 1952 while performing on Broadway is an interesting part of their respective careers. The connections and contributions of these actors add depth to the history of entertainment.